Now, what this terrestrial interface is? As you are knowing that the frequency range that we are using in case of your satellite communication and in case of your microwave link, both frequency ranges are same. Or we are using the similar frequency ranges as the microwave link and the satellite communication use the similar frequency ranges there is chance of interference so whenever we are going for establishing the earth station we should know that in a nearby area how many earth stations are there and if there is any microwave link so how many microwave links are there in the nearby area and how many earth stations are there we have to calculate we have to see that what is the frequency those microwave links and earth stations are using so on the basis of the frequency that we are those microwave links are using this newly established earth station has to be the 
so high power amplifier are used in case of if you are using the earth station for the transmitting purpose if you are using it for receiving purpose no need for going for high power there we just need a low noise amplifier already the signal will be weak but that weak signal should not contain the noise that is only the aim for your receiver okay and finally the antenna characteristics antenna characteristics this already we have covered that if we are going for your transmitting 